people of the land took Joahaz the son of Josiah and made him king in place of his father in Jerusalem. Joahaz was 23 years old when he became king, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. Then the king of Egypt deposed him at Jerusalem and imposed on the land a fine of a hundred talents and of silver and one talent of gold. And the king of Egypt made Eliakim his brother king over Judah and Jerusalem and changed his name to Jehoiakim. But Necho took Joahaz his brother and brought him to Egypt. Jehoiakim was twenty-five years old when he became king and reigned eleven years in Jerusalem. He did evil in the sight of the Lord his God. Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up against him and bound him with bronze chains to take him to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar also brought some of the articles of the house of the Lord to Babylon and put them in his temple at Babylon. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoiakim and the abominations which he did and what was found against him, behold, they're written in the book of the kings of Judah, Israel and Judah. And Jehoiachin, his son, became king in his place. Jehoiachin was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned three months and ten days in Jerusalem, and he did evil in the sight of the Lord. And at the turn of the year, King Nebuchadnezzar sent and brought him to Babylon with the valuable articles of the house of the Lord. And he made his kinsman, which would be his uncle Zedekiah, king over Judah and Jerusalem. I should add, by the way, in verse 8, it should read 18 years old, not 8. Um, there's a scribal error there. Then in verse 11, Zedekiah was 21 years old when he became king, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem, and he did evil in the sight of the Lord his God. He did not humble himself before Jeremiah the prophet who spoke for the Lord, and he also rebelled against King Nebuchadnezzar who made him swear allegiance by God, but he stiffened his neck and hardened his heart against turning to the Lord God of Israel. Furthermore, all the officials of the priests and the people were very unfaithful, following all the abominations of the nations. And they defiled the house of the Lord, which he had sanctified in Jerusalem. And the Lord, the God of their fathers, sent word to them again and again by his messengers, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they continually mocked the messengers of God despised his words and scoffed at his prophets until the wrath of the Lord against his people, <clears throat> until there was no remedy. Therefore he brought, them again, he brought up against them the king of the Chaldeans who slew their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary and had no compassion on young man or virgin, old man or infirm. He gave them all into his hand and all the articles of the house of God, great and small, and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the king and of his officers, he brought them all to Babylon. Then they burned the house of God and broke down the wall of Jerusalem and burned all its fortified buildings with fire and destroyed all its valuable articles. And those who had escaped from the sword he carried away to Babylon, and they were servants to him and to his sons until the rule of the kingdom of Persia to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of